Welcome to Customizing BricsCAD. My name is Ralph Grabowski, and it's my pleasure to show you how to make BricsCAD work the way you work. So here I have a uh, couple of walls with a door between them, and as you can see, the, uh, the door is not big enough. It doesn't fit the uh, size of the opening. And the other thing is the uh, door is facing the wrong way. To meet the fire code, it needs to open outwards and not inwards the way it is here. The door is a block, and uh, normally you would uh, have to find yourself another block that was big enough and then insert it with uh, negative scale factors so that it would uh, sit the right way, the door would swing correctly. As of BricsCAD version 15, however, you can work with dynamic blocks interactively. When you click a dynamic block, you'll see a number of grips, and these grips have a different color. They're light blue in color, and they have different shapes. They help you uh, manipulate this dynamic block so that you don't have to find different sized ones or insert them with negative scale factors. And the next part of this video, I'll show you how they work. When you select a dynamic block, like so, you'll see two colors of grips. The green one is the usual one. It's for moving the block around. The other ones are the dynamic grips and they do special things according to the shape of the grip. So let's take a look at what they are. First of all, there's these ones that have double arrows. These ones scale the block to make them bigger. You see there's a horizontal one and a vertical one. And that tells you that they will scale the door horizontally or vertically. Let's try the horizontal scale. Click in the center of the double arrow and then move it along. And as you can see, it's not actually scaling smoothly as you would expect in BricsCAD, but it's jumping along. That's because this dynamic block has been pre-programmed, so to speak, to only increase in sensible sizes that match existing standards for doors. So there I'm going to click and now we have a door that's the right size for the opening. Let's see what else it can do. Well, I said that it's facing the wrong way. So these two grips are mirror grips. You can see how they sort of face each other just like an arrow facing a mirror. Let's see how they work. Well, I'm going to click in the middle of this one and there we go. It's facing outwards just like we want it. Now, the other grip in here is uh, this one. It looks like a, a stack of pancakes and you might be familiar with that from Android, which uses a similar pancake icon for options. Let's click it and see what happens. Okay, so what it's doing is allowing us to select different types of openings. So right now it's at 30 degrees. We can close the door, or we can open it all the way up, or somewhere in between. It's your choice. Well, now you know all there is to know about uh, dynamic blocks. Uh, should give you one warning. You can't create dynamic blocks in BricsCAD. Uh, you'd have to still do that in a copy of AutoCAD if you can borrow one of those. Another tip is uh, if you click on the DIN button down here and then manipulate a dynamic block, you'll actually see the, uh, the values. So there's a 2 foot 8 door, 3 foot door, 3 foot 4. So that can be useful. And finally over here in the properties palette, you can also change the values of the, the door, as you can see here. I'm uh, shifting things around just by changing the values of the properties. I trust you enjoyed learning how to make BricsCAD work the way you work. For more on customizing BricsCAD, check out the ebook. Download the free trial version of BricsCAD at www.brixis.com and check it out for yourself.